let's let's go to Florida briefly. Um, the thing with the education, the Black History Month. So now Florida is making headlines again because, um, what is it? Florida, Florida's uh, Board of Education approves a new Black History standard, uh, but they're receiving backlash because I guess in those standards and guidelines, Florida schools will teach how slavery brought personal benefit to black people. <laughs> and now Kamala Harris, I think she, I'm going to play a, a 30 second clip of her speech. She was in Florida, you know, condemning the Florida board of education. So the Florida board of education approved new standards for African-American history on Wednesday, high school students will be taught an equally distorted message that a deadly white mob attack against black residents of Osea, Florida, Osea or Osea in 1920 included acts of violence perpetuated, per perpetuated against and by African-Americans. Dozens of black residents were killed in the massacre, which was perpetuated to stop them from voting. According to the members of the board, that disordered portrayal of the racist massacre is factually accurate. Mary Lynn Mager, a member of the board appointed by Governor Ron DeSantis, said at the board's meeting in Orlando on Wednesday that everything in there in the new history standards, the darkest parts of our history are addressed. Um I am very concerned by these standards, especially some of the noted notion that enslaved people benefited from being enslaved. And this is by Representative Anna S. Kamani, um, Democrat out of Orlando. So here's my take real quick. What, whatever they put in it, right? Whatever they took out, the whole thing started with the left wanting to include LGBT and all types of stuff in black studies, period. And then now you have, you have the right saying that we don't want nothing LGBT. As a matter of fact, not only are we going to take that out, we're going to, I guess, eliminate or cut down black studies. And then we're going to create a new standard. And then in, in this new standard, we are going to, you know, tell the truth, the accurate truth, I guess their truth or whatever, and revise it and not be so harsh, I guess, to paint white people as being domestic terrorists that they were back then or trying to um, redefine, you know, um, Africans who were enslaved by saying, well, they benefited because they have created, mastered some skills, which is BS because they already had those skills. Oh, but it's not a lie. It's true. Look that at the Black Caucus. Look at all of the skills they've mastered. <laughs> look at some of these boule negroes look at the skills they've mastered <laughs> i mean there, it's true it's not a lie it's just all how you look well, at I it i think i'm talking more and more agriculture with your hands building like africans knew how to build anyway but i get your point but this is this is this is where i'm coming from now <laughs> yeah, yeah why are we still black people why are we still relying on the government to create stuff for us and us not creating our well, own? Well, yeah, that, that's the main point. It's like, the you need the guys you want to save you? The Asian yeah. Americans and the Asian American Studies is mandatory in Florida. Why? Because it's a national organization in different states. They come together with their own curriculum, get it passed in each state. They got it passed in the state of Florida. So you want to teach what well, we could, can Could I interrupt you just one second? They did that. We could have done that. But you see, we got co-opted because instead of talking about black history and the lessons that can be gleaned from studying black history, you got it as black studies and that focused it on the rainbow. So what the hell does that have to do CRT. with black right. Yeah, see, so what? Where, where would the Asians have gotten if they flipped this to Asian rainbow, you know, rather than Asian, you see? Exactly. And then this clown up here, Miss Hyena, 
incarnate, you know, with a grin, looks just like a hyena when she does it. He, <laughs> everything's funny. But anyway, she faking being black. Remember what we went over the last time about the Indians, uh, the Hindus who fake being black to get the stuff? Her. Exactly. So, and she's an AKA, but I can talk. My dear departed mother is an ivy behind the wall. She went over in 1934 on the first line at Lane College in Jackson, Tennessee. Uh, one third of the land the place is built on, my Choctaw grandmother donated to the place. So anyway, uh, you know, I can talk. Mm -hmm. But Miss Hyena, she's just faking it. And by the way, before she says one thing, what do you call somebody who is mixed white and black? Are they white or are they black? Black. If they are mixed white and mixed Asian, what are they? Asian? No, -uh, they're black. If they're being called Asian, they ain't got no black in them. That's just because this kind of Asian looks just like that. And that's because they're Hindu Brahmin caste. Mm -hmm. let me play her clip real quick also by the way they're known as Aryans right that's, yeah, their that's, that's 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 true that's true um at another date you're gonna have to do a show on the Aryans and the Indians and break all that down uh let me play this clip real quick it's only 24 seconds oops I'm sorry I had it on mute <laughs> all right here we go just yesterday in the state of Florida, they decided middle school students will be taught that enslaved people benefited from slavery. They insult us in an attempt to gaslight us and we will not stand for it. Why should she be acting like... Okay, because they've been taking lessons. Like, remember when Obama, Obama was studying um, uh, under Reverend White in Chicago on how to be black preachy in his speech patterns, and then he threw him under the bus later. That's what that's about. But before this lady says anything, she's going to have to explain how when she was district attorney in San Francisco, even though you could walk up in the courthouse smoking a joint and just get shooed out for smoking indoors, you know. Mm -hmm. She was giving out the stiffest sentences in the United States for simple possession of marijuana if the defendant was black. For white ones, nothing happened. If you were black, you got the stiffest sentences in the country. If you were white, mm -hmm. it's okay. So she needs to explain that. Right. And she needs to explain what she did to ramp up the number of black folk incarcerated because she's a hypocritical liar. And she is at a stage in her career and in life where hiking up her skirt uh, a few inches above the knee is not going to change anybody's impression of what she's doing because it's about business mm -hmm. now. Um, all right, Ms. Imhoff is being disingenuous. Very. Why didn't she admit she's married? <laughs> Mrs. Nancy Pelosi, Mrs. Feinstein. Uh, even you know, Kentaji Jackson, don't she have, she has her husband last name, right? Yeah, Mrs. Jackson, uh, Mrs. Head Scratch Jackson. <laughs> Head Scratch Jackson is good. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, Mrs. Palin, you know, mm -hmm. why, why, what is she trying to do by using her oh. maiden name? All right, let me want us to know about her husband. I mean, it's kind of hard to avoid it, and according to her standards, that's not supposed to mean anything. Judge Joe Brown's all new barbecue sauce and seasoning, justice in the form of flavor. 
law firms will take this as a retainer. What? It must be a law firm where they hungry as hell. Now you gonna help me with this parole I'm dealing with? Touch Joe Brown's all new barbecue sauce and seasoning. Justice in the form of flavor. With one taste of our premium blends of all natural ingredients, herbs, and spices, mm, you'll fall in love with meat all over again. Judge Joe Brown's all natural barbecue sauce collection is made up of two zesty flavors original and spicy. There's only one way to bring order back to barbecuing. Just add Judge Joe Brown's all natural barbecue sauce and seasoning, and you be the judge.